everyone, it's Hannah here. I'm a senior majoring in marketing and dance. So welcome to our first Cowboy Coffee. Um, I'm super excited, so let's get started. Today I'll talk through some tips for YO courses. So if you're feeling unprepared um, for when classes start on Monday, don't worry, I'm here to help make sure your YO courses are in tip-top shape and you understand everything you need to know. So let's dive right in. Okay, so before we dive into YO courses, I just wanted to show you this super helpful website. So if you go to uwyo.edu backslash work teach remote, there's a students learning tab right here. If you click that tab, it takes you to a list about um, learning remotely and what you need to make sure you're ready um, and some different online services that can be really beneficial um, to help ensure that you're ready. So if you have any questions, make sure to visit this website. Also, you'll be hearing from your professors really soon if you haven't heard from them already. Um, you'll, they'll need to reach out to you 24 hours before your first class. So if you haven't heard from them yet, don't worry, you'll hear from them very soon. Um, okay, let's head on into YO Courses so we can look at the different features that YO Courses has. So I've already logged in, so this is the first page that you get when you log into YO Courses. So some of the really important things, um, this is your dashboard, so this shows all the different classes that you're enrolled in, um, and you can really easily click on those. You can also get to your classes by clicking on courses and groups. Here it has a list of your classes too, so if you're in a different place, that's a really easy way to click on all of your courses. Um, over here there's a to-do bar, so it shows some of the things that you need to do or some announcements that have come up maybe since you've logged back on. Um, I think it's super helpful to look at your to-do and then exit off once you've completed it, um, so then they always stay really up to date. Then, if you head on over to calendar, this is a great way to also have a calendar view of the assignments that you have coming up. So if you know you have a lot of due dates coming up, you can look it in um, why of course is at this calendar view and see that you have assignments coming up on Monday, Tuesday, and that can help plan out your time and what you need to do. Then if you head on over to your different courses, there'll be announcements and those are a really important place because a lot of professors will be posting information here in announcements. So if you click on announcements then you can see um, what your professors have been posting and that a lot of the time is where um, they'll post updates and things to think about so make sure that you're checking those. Um, then if you're in any of your classes you'll want to click on files. There's always really important stuff on in files. Um, this is sometimes where you'll find the syllabus or you can also find the syllabus under the syllabus tab. Um, so those are super important places to remember and keep in mind. So um, staying organized uh, is super important. So one of the things that I do to stay organized is change the color of all of my classes to be something different. And that corresponds to the color I take my notes in and what I write down in my planner so that I keep all of my colors consistent. So you can change your color by clicking on the three little buttons here and then it'll come up with color and you can change it. You can even look up a color code and customize it. And you can also change the name of your classes here too, which can help find them more easily. Here you can also change the order too, which can be really beneficial. You could put them in order of when you take them or when things are due. So those are some important features to help you stay organized. Also, make sure that your notifications are turned on. Now that everything is moving online, this is going to be important to make sure that you're prepared. So again, you can click on account and then click on notifications and here you can see what will notify you and when it will notify you. So I would just go through those and double check before classes start to make sure that you're getting notified with the things that you want to be notified about. And then like I said before, make sure that you read through the syllabus. So if you go to those courses, you can find them in a couple different places. So if I go to files, I can see that here is my syllabus. So I want to make sure that I read through that. Um, another great feature if you're needing help while you're in YO courses is to click this little help button in the bottom. It brings up a ton of different links to resources, some of them on campus and some of them through um, Canvas which provides YO courses for us. So these 24-7 hotlines could be really helpful if it's late at night and you're finishing something up. Um, so make sure that you click on any of these if you're having problems. You can also email yocourses at uwyo.edu or UWIT, and both of those places would be more than happy to help you with any issues you're having. 
So make sure you log on to your YO courses really soon to take a look at your classes and make sure to push that help button or reach out for help if you're having any problems. Um, thanks for joining us today. I hope this was helpful and make sure you tune into more Cowboy Coffee coming next week.